What's up, y'all? My name's Chase Reeves, and today we're going to talk about some tech pouches. Damn, girl. You want to get it, got to get it, turn it on, girl. You got the tech pouches all down. I'm going to message on my dongles. I'm going to get myself Let's talk about some tech pouches, y'all. These are sexy. What are you gonna organize in your tech pouches? Like your like general sort of tech, everyday stuff? Maybe some deeper tech storage, the stuff maybe you don't need every day, but those dongles that you need when you need them. What about cameras and accessories? Putting them all together in one pouch so you've got everything that you need right there ready for on-the-go access. Or what about an on-the-go office? Keyboard, mouse, roost stand, headphones, archive hard drive, power adapter with a bunch of cables. Or what about all those random cables that just, just they're taking up some huge box in your house somewhere, some Tupperware full of crap where you could just like put it all in one little bag like this. It's the stuff you're not gonna, use ever anyways but you still you still gotta have them sometimes right sometimes you what would, what would i do without this in this video i'm gonna walk you through just a bunch of my favorite tech pouches okay there's a lot of them that i've collected over the years i'm basically telling you showing you everything that any company has sent to me so if you're a company that has things for organizing daily life please get in touch matterful.co and Speaking of Matterful.co, this video, I can't update this video, right? So I'm gonna keep the page at Matterful.co slash pouches updated for as long as my liver is purifying my body because you know, your liver has, it does some complex stuff. You should eat some liver. Got my coffee. I'm long-winded. This could be long, but I've got the overhead camera. I'm just gonna walk you through a bunch of these. I'm gonna have everything in the YouTube description below, but like I said, matterful.co slash pouches. If you're watching this in the future sometime, maybe something awesome has come out and I'll put that up towards the top of the list there. Anyways, you ready to spend some time together? <laughs> if this is your first video with me, you, you might... <laughs> Okay, the first group of bags here are the uh, are the tech pouches. Okay, these ones have a lot of organization. Probably one of my current favorites right now is the Bellroy Tech Kit. Very classy little number. Stretch mesh feels good. I've got my sort of some of my daily tech items in here. Having a battery like this is really great. But if you have that, you're gonna need to have the cables to connect all the different things. Right, I've got my uh, I've got my AirPods, and then this little bit back here on the back, which is magnets. How do they work? This is one of the classiest and one of my favorite. Look how sort of slimline it is. Nice metal zip. Feels sort of fancy. A little bit Louis Vuitton. Nice. Bellroy like leather logo thing there, leather zip pull. It's not Louis Vuitton in the sense that it's like you're a vapid housewife. It's more Louis Vuitton in the sense that it's like, I don't know, was there a real Louis Vuitton? Like is there some French dude who is like, I just care a lot. I just, I like nice things. I do, I like them. This Bellroy right here is one of my favorites. You can see I've got a little dirt in here. Like, like a lot of these, are using a material like here's the nomadic that is just like you could you could like smear peanut butter into this and just wipe it right off okay that might be important to you that one coming up next but this one can get dirty um which is a little but i'm sure i could clean that off i just i'm i'm a dad i stopped cleaning all but the essential things a long time ago but this guy really is one of my favorites truly from a personal perspective i think this is my favorite on the daily use because it is not too fat it's not that it's like thin i can slide it in and out of my bag check out this guy this is the backpack from nomadic that i just reviewed they're new it's on kickstarter um, lots and lots of organization in here, okay? You could easily, and I have in my life, used my daily carry. This is a slim 
bag, it's a little guy, minimal carry as my main tech pouch. All my stuff is organized in this, but then that means I have to bring this around with me everywhere. When I have that same amount of stuff in here, I can throw this into a little sling. I can throw this into some different backpack because this one isn't right for going you know, hiking with the family or something, but I could still have my battery to charge my devices and my headphones. By the way, this little pouch in here, this is maybe the most important pouch of all for me personally. This is my smoke pouch. This is my, my cannabis pouch. And I did a video on this. What's up patrons? Patrons over at Patreon, you can subscribe, you know, support your independent, hopefully not corporate shill media people because what other options are we gonna have in the future? Thanks to my patrons and the people supporting me over there. Hope you enjoy that video. Though it's not for everybody. Okay, here's that little nomadic one you've seen a few times. I'm not particularly fond of this sort of like page turny flip thing or these, but the truth is it's a great way to have a little bit of visibility. Tons of like, this is really clean. This is not gonna get dirty. By the way, I wanna see some funky glasses. Hopefully I can get an affiliate link from these guys because some, some of you guys are gonna like it. These glasses flip out. They're really thin and they're really lightweight. And then they go in like this, and then they go into a little case like this. It literally fits in your pocket. This episode is brought to you by Rove Eyewear. Do be warned, dooby dooby do, that they can look a little, I mean, they just don't look that good on me. <laughs> They're a little steampunky. But the lenses are actually really great. This little guy's on Kickstarter right now. I'll link to everything below. I kind of like this, okay? I'm not gonna walk you through every feature of these things because we'd literally be here until Christmas. But you can get a sense of what each of them are like, whether or not you want to explore them more. Here's another big heavy hitter in this tech pouches space. This is the Peak Design tech pouch, okay? Have we reached Peak Design yet? They submit that we have. This thing accordions out. It's really beautiful. The way that these panels are curved in so it like just kind of covers it all up. My challenge with this is, is it's quite large. Look how much bigger it is than that Bellroy. Of course, that means you can fit more stuff, but it does mean that your bag needs to be at least this wide and you need to have this much space in it. So because I am living on the road, my family and I have been traveling for multiple years. This is basically my desk drawer. I would have all of this stuff in some desk drawer somewhere, but I don't have a desk drawer. I have this. What's great about this guy is you have so many many different little compartments. There's almost too much to explore here. Let me try to give you a sense of this thing. On the sides here, you have these elastic pouches, great for cables. Then you have this just like this compartment right here, which has a little bit of dimension through all my extra cables. These are the cables that I actually might use. Same thing on the other side here. Some little dongle guys. Look at this, this is a cord pass-through. Did you see that? Cord pass-through that goes out here to this thing where I just keep some papers. More elastic bits up here. These things, look at this, this is just, what is that thing for? I don't know, how about this over here? More cables that I actually use. Oh look at inside of this guy, there's all those like, uh, those little headphones, bombles, thingies that you need. These, this is like a different material, feels really great. I think maybe it's the same material as, as this over here. Then there's zippered bits inside of here where you have like more SD card or small camera battery size stuff. Such a great pouch for organizing all of that stuff into like anything like that into one little guy that it's got a little handle. On, I mean, water resistant, really durable, great materials. This is quite peak design. It really is a nice pouch. Highly recommend this, especially for that like, I don't like this for everyday use because I don't need this much stuff every day. This is way more my speed for every day. Even more minimal than that. I'll show you, here's one of my favorites. My current favorite. Look at this, this thing is just floppy. This is the track login pouch. They're from Scotland, it's hand shocked out in the fucking Highlands or some shit, well, I'm getting Irish. Look at this, super simple. This is actually what I use every day as my tech when I'm not using this, and I kind of prefer this oftentimes. Everything's in one big bundle right there with a couple little organizers. I could do with those same organizers on this side, do double of these panels track for next time or version two of this, but I love this material, this wax, dry finish wax canvas. Uh, I'm not crazy about these guys. These are connections to go onto your 
certain some of their bags it's a little bit a little bit funky or knobby but i just like this kind of a pouch so simple so simple you don't need all the fancy stuff i like this when i need to dongle rod me rod me my way through life i like this one a lot because it's simple. This is more of like the Casey Neistat approach. You've seen that clip of, there's this filmmaker named Casey Neistat, who you probably know about if you're watching this video. And he had this, I think it was in a Peter McKinnon video, where he like opened up his bag and he was like, oh God, <laughs> everything was just thrown in. He's like, listen, this is the best way I found for me to have the things I need without spending too much of my time in organization porn. Do you know what organization porn is? I don't think he said those words, but it's this old idea, this, you know, productivity porn is when you do more work about work than you do actual work. A couple more keeping it simple, but still good enough organization here. I like these two. This one is from Manal. It's their tool case. XL, nice padded, protective, got some uh, removable Velcro guys in, so you could like really customize and tech this out with on this panel, some cord underwear things here and some a place to throw basically, which always ends up being those cords that I need, but I don't want them in my way. I've used this guy a lot in my life, little minimal branding up here. This thing is, it, it, it works really well. Here's your size, so it fits. It's more like the size of a, of a fat book. And same size to that is this Velomachi one or Velomachi. This this is like designed to be in like motorcycle bags. It's meant to like fly across the freeway at 125 miles an hour. Simple, simple under po underwear pockets with elastic at the top here. I like this material in here. It doesn't look like it's gonna get too ratty. Very simple, but you can see the dimension in here, right? This is what I like about this. My PXC 550s, this is the version two right now. I just got these from headphones.com. I'm gonna be testing those out. Perfect size to throw those in the bag, have some protection, and then also be able to fit the cords that I need, maybe my battery and shit like that. I've used this as my daily tech rambler for a while as well. These ones gotta be known about. These are, this is the Bellroy Classic. Classic pouch, another Bellroy. You got that nice leather, got that nice leather. They're, they're doing some good work responsibly sourcing leather, responsibly sourcing leather, right? Responsibly is, is a, you know, it, to each his or her own, but I respect this company's values quite a bit. I have been impressed by them as designers for sure in terms of what it's like to use their products. Um, but that's the case for all these companies that I'm talking about. Why am I talking about this? Because leather. Leather's like, I know a lot of us have a hard time with leather if we're ethically minded. And I respect that about you. Honestly, if you have a hard time with leather, like you're my people, right? I am a meat eater. I am okay with animal products. However, I will not support factory farming. I will not support factory farming. I will not, well, I, bet, I bet I have in ways I don't even know, but that's a value. Leather, the way that it patinas and gets worn in over time is so delicious. But look at this great, we got another magnet right in here. You can see that little circle bit. I think this magnet's a little too weak for my flavor. I really prefer this Tech Pouches magnet. Oh, look at that. Oh, attraction. Oh, they're attracted to each other forever. <laughs> It's just longing, two sides, just longing for each other. The truth is you could put any other, you know, magnetic sort of thing next to it. It's not like they're longing for each other. It's just longing. It's like a condition of longing. Does that sound familiar? This I've used for uh, just keeping everything about this little shitty, but saw like, you know, another one of those Casey Neistat recommendations that I just never use anymore. You buy a lot of shit on the way to finally buying the shit that you should have bought in the beginning, but it was too expensive and this is that shit. Great pouch, just two stretch meshies here, some, some capacity in the middle, and then this guy on the side. There's that same pouch just empty because it's kind of hard to see. My wife has used this for makeup, can you tell? <laughs> You can see how it gets ratty when you're putting ratty stuff in there. You can keep it nice. You wanna see You wanna see a great example of that? Okay, these are both from Peak Designs. Here's the tech pouch, here's their wash bag. One of the tricks on you know pouches and organization, depending on what you're trying to organize in your life, is dop kits, wash bags. They have a lot of great organization. I'm gonna show you a few other ones. This is Peak's wash bag, it's really great. You can see, this, my wife is, this is my wife's like dot bag every day. 
She has used the shit out of this thing. I've used this a lot, but I'm not pulling it in and out every day. This lives on the countertop of whatever Airbnb we're currently staying in. And it's got lots of organization. It is built and designed for, you know, toiletries, right? But these external, these little like internal meshy guys are awesome. This material feels great. So things get ratty over time when you're using them a lot. And my wife is, it's like, she was born and raised on a farm in Canada. She's like, I don't care if my fucking pouch gets some foundation on it. All right, it's not a fancy video unless we bring out some Waterfield. Here's two others from them that I really like. I'll show you this in a second. These are just flat, thin, narrow, simple pocket on the outside, multiple sizes. And inside, interesting little curve Great, just simple, simple pocketing, right? Super simple. I actually really love these, like waxed canvas. For size on these, here's my iPhone. It's not the big one. They make lots of cases. Fa I famously, these guys don't spend any money on advertising. They're all hand shucked, hand design, handmade, hand designed in San Francisco. They have a little factory there, support USA made stuff. But because they don't spend any money on marketing, they also don't have an affiliate program. So if you want to support the channel, you can't through buying their stuff. But you can, you know, buy me a coffee. There's a link down there or something if you really want to. Now let's look at this tech case. This thing is amazing. It's little too big and beefy for me. Compare that to the Bellroy here, right? It's just really thick, but the good news about this thing is this leather's gorgeous. It's gonna break in and patina over time and just get better. This ballistic nylon is, in, is just like really, really durable. So this thing's gonna last a long time. You've got fancy velour, some stuff to put stuff in, and there's like another thing for stuff. And these guys aren't my favorite. They're just a little, it's just like a little stuff, but it, this isn't, it's not like your little stuff's not gonna fall out, but maybe there's some cords or something. This side zippered, and then this is a little cord pass through into this pocket, which goes all the way down and has that, you see the leather? You see the leather just come alive like that? It just, it, it'll do that for the first little while. Oh God, it's just so gorgeous, their stuff. Links to everything I'm talking about, obviously below, time code links, check this out. This is from Boundary Supply. This one was recently on Kickstarter as a part of their uh, Eris, I believe it was called. Great little quick access pocket on the outside with nywool inside, which is like, Probably one of my favorite internal materials. You've got an elasticy doodaddy over here with like some more elastic. I might have mean it's like stretch, you know, or like open accordion with a handful of different sides and different stuff. You can hear there's some crinkly to this because this is very water resistant, weather resistant. And then on this side, you've got elastic -y bits. I'm not crazy about this kind of stuff. I feel like it looks better when I'm thinking about using it then, it, then it feels when I'm using it typically. But there are some things where organizing on this can work really well. Then over here, you just have these pockets with these nice little tabs. This is, this is definitely a nice feeling, nice feeling thing. You can see the size here with the Bellroy. Feels good, great work, boundary. Tom Bin has some new tech pouches which are actually really killer. I'll show you those in a second. But first, this Tad Triple Ot Design. How many Ots? Triple them. Now, I always make this mistake on this one. I, I, I open up this zipper. I just never gotten used to it. This expands. Look at that. This whole thing expands. And this mesh here is really like, it's really stiff, hard, and like durable. This is the kind of thing you get with Triple Lock Design. They make stuff for like handguns. All those guys that are gonna be like walking through the streets with AK 47s going like, don't worry, you're safe now. They've got Tad gear. Another crinkly sounding thing because this is, I think this is X Pack, really intense, water resistant, and durable material. Super good. And this guy, I actually have all my GoPro accessories, which I've, I don't think I've ever used. <laughs> Right? But it ends up working great for that. Lots of little elastic guys. I think, again, these are for like gun clips or something. Uh, that big 
that that mesh is just so it's gorgeous like so thick and fat i love it there's so much organization in here so much and then a zippered guy over here for more stuff this is really made well good stuff it's crinkly and it's tactical and it's got a little more zippers than i really than i really you know i personally but i like the size I just, it's like thin. It's like, again, that like book, that book size. And they've got some fan, some wild ass clips for how it clicks into one of their bags. The Axiom, like I think they have a 20 and a 24 or 19 and a 24. Check out my review on that. And then the Tom Bin guys, all right? These are slick, two different sizes. Little zipper on the front. I love that Tom Bin uses, uses like just soft goods. This is just, look at this. This is just soft good stuff. There's no fan, there's no leather, there's no fancy. It's like, we developed a brand new material with help from our factories to make sure that water doesn't stick. It's like, they're like, we got water resistant material for forever. That's what I love about Tom Ben. This guy's just OG. What's up, Tom? Here's the big guy. Zipper on the outside, curved, because Tom Ben <laughs> is it always, it always accentuates function over form, over like, you know, the look and aesthetics of it, right? This, this is like, I'm, I don't love the look of this. It doesn't look cool, right? It's not like, oh, I'm Louis Vuitton. Look at me. I'm doing so good in my life. You can tell because I'm fancy. I come from good blood. And this is like, I don't know. I just live in the wilderness and I haven't died yet. Been out there for 45 years. Really like trail mix. I can make my own. This is the kind of thing where you'd see like a little compass and like actual survival shit. I love how crunchy Tom Bin's shit is. And it's crunchy, right? It is, it's like sort of hippie-ish on some levels, but it's really well made. And it's made with such deep values. This is American made. This is, I don't know what their warranties are. You could just send your shit back to them. You're just gonna fix it. Like it's some like classic bag making company. Cause that's what it is. These guys are elastic here. And these guys are just webbing. Okay, perfect for pens and clips, perfect for, you know, stuff you need to stretch around. Little tiny zips. These are the plastic zips. Are they YKK? Yeah, plastic, tiny zips. I love that. They're not in the way when you're not using them. When you need them, they're right there. Little size pockets, great for the little stuff. These are those uh, 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 O-rings from Tom Bin that you can, you attach things to. Like watch, like this right here, they've got a little leash that's attached to an O-ring. This is their whole thing, man, is have a little pouch that connects to this, so when you pull it out and you need that thing, you never have to worry about it like being far from this bag. This is like totally comes out of actually being in the wilderness, I think. I think it's like nighttime, headlamp, you're like, a, a long ways away from your car camping and you you just you want to be able to get that thing but you don't want to wake up in the morning and go like where did i put everything you know what i'm talking about if you've ever done like headlamp night stuff big pocket over here that's just mesh right this is great this is where all that big stuff that you need but you don't want it cluttering up the little things you need to get access to right then back here you've got the ability to they have on this one these little clips you could clip this into your bag you could have it sit up at the top of it flap it down if you need to a little guy is great as well i haven't used these personally though in my daily life because i just got them recently thanks tom ben now i want to show you some simple stuff okay these are like simple ish but i love them some are simple but very gorgeous and some are just simple strong durable i'm not going to spend a ton of time on these so pay attention brown buffalo american manufactured from a dude with a big beard what up douglas this is uh this is a topo hold on wait on that this is their like dop kit gorgeous i love this little this is like this is just like rubber almost it's indestructible you've got this for forever a little clip on the side here, great injection molded zipper, so it's just big and chunky and easy. This is the Porter pen case. Same in, same liner inside of here, nothing fancy, but then it's got this Cordura stuff on the outside, I think it's Cordura, nice little tag, I love this multicam black. Little clip here, not the injection molded zipper. Love these two, I have lived in these two. I have used these two my like for like everything. I have multiples of these. They're lovely. 
They also make this one in just this uh, this Hypolani rubbery coated, PU coated version. Uh, support the brown buffalo. I think these like simple, simple pouches, all these simple ones I'm about to show you are really sometimes the way to go to have a handful of these on hand so that you can use them like this. This is just all those cables that just suck, but maybe I might need them. You don't have any idea. You know, I've cleaned so many of these out over the years and yet I still have some of those micro USBs and the mini USBs that occasionally you're like, what the, why? How old is this piece of electronics? Topo Design. Bunch of simple stuff they make, like pouches like this. This one's a little more complex, show you that in a second. These guys, just open it up, nothing to it. Great, gonna last you a long time, made from good material. We got a little American, American flag, American made, right? They make a bunch of sizes of this one. Check the link in the description below. Then there is the Topo Design, like whatever this guy is. This is like, they might make other sizes of things like this. This one has like a man purse vibe where you can clip this on and get real fancy like, hello, <laughs> hold on, let me get my chapstick. Boundary Supply, make a simple little pen pouch as well. I think they might have a very small version of this, but they didn't send that. This is very durable, very thin, lightweight stuff. Even though it's thin and lightweight, it's very durable, rubbery, plasticky. I don't like getting in and out of this as much as these Bellroy pen cases, which are just fucking gorgeous. They're like little works of art. I did a whole 25 minute video on these because I think it's fascinating how they're designed. Like, look at this, watch, you can open this up. Open it up all the way down to this, look at this little, these little loops down here. You can just put your finger through, right? And then if you want this to just sit open on your desk, you can, you can see I still have some product from when I used this as my little smoke pouch in here. Look at that, just sits right there, put your pens in there. Oh yes, I'm a fancy designer. Look at me, I'm an architect and I'm making the roof of the house. The roof is so important for establishing the emotional resonance of the property. These Bellroy guys come in two sizes, or at least they did. I think they might've shifted some things. I don't know, this one is leather. I love these. These are like things I'm gonna give to my grandkids before I die. Now, if you're a gear person, Shimoda makes some great stuff. Not only do I love their action backpack, check the link in the description at this time code for that review, but this is an awesome little pouch for gear stuff. Why? Because totally clear visibility, really lightweight, really lightweight, totally durable in its own way with this ripstop nylon on the outside. But then there's a little bit of foam inside, a little bit of padding, just gentle. It doesn't feel fancy. It doesn't feel nice in the same way. But when you've got a bunch of camera cables and a bunch of like just gear thrown into this thing and this is shoved into a bag and you're like on location somewhere, like, oh fuck, where's the thing? You pull that out. They've got them in different sizes. Check the link below for those. Okay, now we are at the sort of the weirdos here, okay? Lots of these are good. Let's, you know, pay attention. And after this, I've just got two big ones that I wanna show you. Check these three out, okay? These are all, like I said, kind of weirdos, but they might be perfect for you. This one in the middle. This is the Peak Design Field Pouch. This thing is so sick. I love this thing. You could slide it on your belt. You can connect it to one of their camera straps. You can, uh, you can expand it to much bigger like that. But to be honest, I have not found a good use for this in my life, but I love the materials. I love this almost nye wool kind of thing in here. Multiple elastic guys in here, some organized panels in the back, just so much you can do with this. Little zippered pouch on this side. Um, and it's just kind of hard to get in. Like even as I'm, as I'm trying to like show you this, it's like hard to show. You really, it's great for when you're throwing something like this, like headphones, boom, rah, rah, straight in. All right, then it's just your headphone thing. But that takes up a ton of space for just headphones, but they're protected, nice. Like it's thicker down here at the bottom. Like, you know, it's good. I love this thing. I just haven't personally found a great way to use it. This is a nomadic toiletry kit. This is like designed for your toothbrush right here. Just a little toothbrush spot, for example. However, water resistant, lots of little pockets, like kind of cumbersome to get in and out of. It's like a, it's a little more of a bento box. So when you really need to get in and get that specific thing that you put right here, this can be great for that. Zipper over here, little clip, 
right? Here it is in comparison with that Bellroy, just to give you a sense. Another one from Shimoda, this is like a tech roll case. This is awesome. If you're a weirdo, like professional of some kind, and you just need all of those things, boom, 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 rolls up, and then it has this little guy. You can clip this onto the outside of your bag. You can throw this into your laptop compartment or whatever. You could probably get funky organizing it in different ways, storing it flat in your bag or whatever. You do have this cable or this cord to hang out with. These are all just flat and they're, it's just like it's gonna last a while. You've got visibility into each of these. Thanks, Shimoda. Check these guys out. Another boundary supply. This is from Air. It's their DOP kit. Lots of organization. Another Tom Bin, just to show, I think they call this the snake charmer. Really simple. Two pouches. That's it. Well, it's one pouch with a divider down the middle. Mesh on the outside so you can see what's in each. You got a little strap on the top, strap on the side. Super simple, super durable. Boundary supply, this is their port pouch thing. You can see here this material sorta, can you hear that? And it's thick, right? But it's super durable and super weather resistant. Great, like, like visible, like little bit visible, right? But really durable, nice and clean. Elastic, what are you putting in here? Gun clips, fucking flashlights. You EDC guys are like, I'm gonna put my Leatherman right there and then my other multi-tool and then I'm gonna have my two flashlights right here and then my third, I can think I'll probably fit my little third one right in there just in case a battery runs out. Little zipper bit back here, but wait, there's more. That's just one side of this kit that actually holds together. You see that? Little nipple clips. They slide, They you have to slide them out, but they go on just right on top of each other. And then on this side, it's just a, a, a button. We're just buttoning up right down here. Can you see that? Just a little button, yeah. And then you have the other side, which has a zipper on the outside, little quick access-y type of vibe. And then inside, it only opens like this. You've got nice pouchness here. Lots of space, easy to throw in those Bluetooth headphones or whatever, right? And then have some other tech with it. And here's your size on that, okay? Sizey. It's like, it can get big, it can get really fat depending on what you have in it, right? But you can also separate these in a somewhat cumbersome kind of way. This one has like straps on the back or like some BDSM shit, I don't know. Then this goes in your bag, you know, maybe you stack them vertically or, or you just use one. Then here is that Air Dop Kit. Now I actually use this as my Dop Kit for a really long time. Pack it on the outside. Got some like little handly type stuff. Big old dreadlock zipper pulls. Look at these things. Come on, man, you wanna open it up? Inside you've got some some bits, like throw your toothbrush or whatever in here. You've got like nice thick, this is like really thick mesh. Then on the other side, you've got a bunch of organization in here. Little, little, all your, so, you know, I use this as my dot, dop kit for a long time. You might, could use it as, you know, some organization for something. I'm hoping that in this video, you'll find shit that's like, you have something specific you need to organize, and you're just like, oh, that'd be perfect. Okay, we're almost done. I got these three, and then the two big ones. Check this out. This is from GORUCK, all right? Big guy. I love GORUCK's zipper pull situation. I don't know, the moment you start working with their shit, it just, it just feels like it's a, it's just so simple. On the outside, you've got all of this molly strapping that's just like, it's cause you can attach it to things for when you're parachuting out of something and you need to land. Inside, super simple. Just zippers on each side. Thick, rich mesh, okay? Zipper here and then a then an underwear pocket over here. Throw some stuff back there and then just the just the capacity of the pouch itself, right? So if you got those Bluetooth headphones, very protective here. We make these in different sizes by the way. Check the link in the description if you're into that. Another DOP kit. This one is from Everyman. I hope they're still around. I think they should be. They make some interesting bags. Big injection molded zip, YKK comes down. This I've used to organize audio, like professional audio gear. Got lots of little zippers over here. This thing like zips out 
if you want it to come out, very interesting. Over on this side, you've got like a little, a little Velcro, you know, organizer if you want to segment your gear. And then over here, I love these injection molded zippers. I think they did a great job. The bummer is this thing's massive, huge, huge. But when I've got my like Mix Pre 6, lots of thick, microphones and stuff like that in here. This has worked awesome for me in the past as my little like, oh, everything I need to do on the go podcast recording right there. Okay, another one from Helmet Head. They're, they lock. They got a little lock right here. You'd set the numbers, the zippers just come in and click lock. Little bit of elastic right here with a zipper on the outside. The thing that about these guys is these are smell proof, but I include it here. I mean, they're smell proof in the sense that they have this like carbon stuff in here that absorbs stuff. Look at the zippers, like all of these guys. This is like your perfect little Hesher kit, man. Got like ways to organize. This is actually an awesome option for small uh, camera gear, but you know, you don't need to go that intense. It's very padded, very protected and padded. I don't think they're very expensive too. I love my little smoke pouch from them. I'm using it a ton outside just for like months and months and months. This thing puts up with a lot of shit. Anyway, some of you are gonna love this. Okay, the two big boys. Now, these big guys are for when you need to grab your laptop and maybe some other stuff, right? This one is from Nomadic. You've got two little spaces here. Like I said, this is I'm actually using for like a mobile office because I do so much video, I need a big ass hard drive to archive that shit. This is like this big 87 watt Satechi. It's probably electrocuting my <laughs> computer in a terrible way, but it's a power adapter for my MacBook as well as having all these little USB ports on the outside. I'll link to that below. Then you have this pocket here, okay, which has a bunch of meshy guys. You can you can zip it open like that, throw in my Bluetooth headphones and my and my keyboard. This is like my little mobile office rig. So when I'm traveling around, this is not the stuff I need every day, but it is something that I need accessible probably once a week to archive footage, to get my, my stuff set up or whatever. Now this one from Boundary Supply, little zips here with some like nice little mesh. That'll probably like you can, yeah, you put a sharp pen or something in there. You're gonna poke through it potentially. It's got a handle right here cause it's designed to be able to, you know, do that thing, be able to hold. You got a place for your, uh, Uh, can you see inside of there? It's just enough space for papers. Business papers, man. Great materials, nice, nice magnetic closure here. Oh, those magnets are so strong. The attraction, the level of the attraction between these suckers is just insanity, Sean Hannity. And then your laptop fits right in here where you've got this nice nywool stuff right here. Little pen like guys right here. This is a really well made, I like this thing. I think this is great. If you ever have a need for something like this, this can slide right into your bag. Big tech pouches, that is it. I hope you like this. The links to everything are below. Support indie makers like myself. You don't have to support me, but find someone you really love their shit. Like for me, it's Duncan Trussell. I really love his shit, man. I think he's so great and he just put an ep he just put a, a Netflix thing out. Netflix partnered with him and the maker of Adventure Time. It is so strange and delicious and lovely and cosmic and deep and beautiful and connected and vital. I hope you like that though very many of you will not. You don't th th he's my guy. Find your guy or your gal, find your digital creators, your independent media folks, your independent makers and support them. I thank you for watching this. You have supported me already by just being here. Like who are you? You're watching to the end of this? What <laughs> What are you like? You're my people. Okay, subscribe to this channel if you're interested in more of this. Support on Patreon or just share it with a buddy. Put it out on your social networks or whatever because we're all a goddamn media agency now.
right? Like, it's all really important what you're putting out into the world. I love you. I hope you're safe. Be yourself. Make good choices. And I will see you there. Or I will see you on another time. Bye-bye, y'all. Thank you.